Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing a script for the Roblox game Anime Dungeon Fighters. So before we get into today's video, if you could drop a like, comment, and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. And let's get straight into the video. So first of all, what you guys want to do is go to the link in the description, which will bring you to my website. From there, you want to go to the scripts page and you want to find Anime Dungeon Fighters. From there you want to click on the post and you want to scroll down to get script follow all the steps and then come into roblox and execute now once you guys have done that this is what it will look like here so we've got a few different tabs in the main we've got attack all enemies semi sword instant kill free fast hatch game pass in the summon tab we've got auto summon fruit and hero in the dungeon we've got select dungeon level 1 2 2 20 then we've got dungeon difficulty, easy, normal, hard, hell. I can only do easy because I'm only level 8. Then we've got auto dungeon which we'll do in a second. And then we've got stats which is health, attack, defense and critical. So if we come up here uh, to our stats which it's not letting us uh, do stats for whatever reason. Um, you can just go ahead and put all your uh, stats on. Health, attack, defense, or critical. As you've seen, it popped up saying plus attack. Then local player, we've got FOB, gravity, fly, walk speed. Then we've got the toggle fly, toggle walk speed, and infinite jump, which you can mess around with that if you want. I'm not going to. Then we've got ESP, which is player ESP, name tag, and player health. So if we go ahead and enable it, we can see the players, um, their name tag, um, which you can enable disable. And we can do player HP as well but uh, for whatever reason it's not showing up it's showing up on that guy over there though so works fine then we've got satins which you can change the theme um, don't know why it's not working for left control but L works or anything else then we've got transparency which makes the GUI look better uh, if you have it on but I'm going to turn it off uh, then you can create a config down here as well and then we've got credits and info, which you can check that out for yourself. So if we come to dungeon and select auto dungeon, it should basically go ahead and select a dungeon for you. Now if it's not working, just come here and select it to normal and it should work. Um, don't know why it's not. Um, there we go, it's working now. So just go ahead and reselect all your options and it should work and it should put you into a dungeon and from there we'll go to the main tab where we can select attack all enemies and semi sword instant kill. So we're going to go ahead and enable all of that and then if we look over here past the text you can see they're all dead already. It collects the coins, it's put on attack points for us and then if you look at the top bar here you can see that it is going through the dungeon very very easy and if you want you can just keep all the dungeon enabled and it will keep doing the dungeon and it will keep attacking the enemies but i'm just going to quit for now um just because obviously um we're going to test out the summon so if we come to summon we can summon a fruit uh we don't have enough gems at the minute but just showing you that it does work um, and that is everything in today's video so if you guys did enjoy then please be sure to drop a like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one bye bye